Hey guys, Frank here from Cichlid Nation. Um, today I just wanted to make a quick maintenance video. Um, I actually broke my brush that I used to scrub my tank. And um, what I used to use before I had my brush that broke uh, was the was the outside of, an, of a filter. So I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys that if you're looking for a quick way to clean your tank, you can see here at the bottom there's all this stuff built up on the uh, on the bottom of the tank here right. this is literally a filter bag for a filter it holds the the carbon the, the fibers um, the carbon I meant to say I'm just using this to wipe down the inside of the tank a bad spot here put a little bit of elbow grease into it and it's gone. You can see over here. It's not looking sharp. Not looking sharp. I'm actually going to zoom in too. So you can really get a good view of it there. Right? There it is. So this is just an old aquarium filter bag for carbon that I don't have the filter for and uh, yeah you can see it works just as good as anything else now I also feel bad because this is my uh, breeding tank but I didn't want to I didn't want to just clean off the glass so that I can make a breeding video later and in doing so, I figured, hey, let me just make a quick aquarium maintenance video showing how I clean my aquarium. Now, let's really take a minute to put this to the test. And you can see on this side of the aquarium here, it is absolutely, positively um, shameful. I think it is the best word to describe it is shameful. So let's just get into it. Start scrubbing away. All right. And it, you know, the, one of the best parts about using these bags is none of the filth, <laughs> none of the filth that you scrub off of the aquarium sticks to the bag. So you literally are scrubbing the stuff, and as soon as you take it off, it just all comes right off of there. All right, and now my tank is becoming a disgusting mess, but I guess it's fair to say that it was a disgusting mess, and now it's becoming clean. But I'm not trying to disturb my females too much, especially because I haven't seen my one female. Uh, there's five in here. I've only seen four for the last two days. So um, I think she's holding in the bottom of the tank and I don't want to disturb her. So I'm going to stop right there. I don't want to disturb the female. But guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you're looking for tips and tricks on maintaining your aquarium, uh, generally I, I always talk about my cichlids, but. My tips and tricks can be used with any aquarium. Like and subscribe to my channel. I put up videos every couple days when I'm not working my full-time job. But guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.